morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis and while some folks may call that healing renewing regenerating system a miracle it really is just the way the body works if you have questions about health nutrition prescription drugs if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program we are here for you we welcome your phone calls on the bright side 844-236-6010 844-236-6010 is our number If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please head to our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase all your favorite longevity products off our websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, and, of course, you can also get your products at the wholesale price, all for a one-time $25 fee. Sign up off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Or you can also call the Brightside Ben team, the phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Truth Retinol 5% Gel made with retinol, vitamin C, our transdermal delivery matrix, and that's it. No fillers, no waxes, no water, no emulsifier, no silicon, no oil, no preservatives, no fragrances, nothing in our Truth Treatment products that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. You only pay for active and functional ingredients, and that's why our Truth Skin Health products are, number one, so darn effective, and number two, why they last so long. You can find out all about all our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Transdermal C Serum, voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar Magazine, and our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. We've been talking about vibrations and frequencies and the back and forth movement of energy in the body. Technically, that's called oscillation. This oscillation, this movement of energy back and forth results in electricity or more accurately, bioelectricity, biological electricity. Every living system in the body, every tissue, every cell, every structure exhibits this electrical phenomena. And health or the lack thereof is always, 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 and only a function of the electrical energy, the movement of electrical energy in the body. In the book, Electromagnetic Fields and Life, Dr. Alexander Pressman talks about uh, the significant effects of the interaction of electromagnetic fields with 
living organisms, the interaction between electricity in the air, uh, radio waves, television waves, phone waves, phone energy, and how these electromagnetic waves interfere with electromagnetic energy in the body. According to Dr. Pressman, quote, electromagnetic fields have information and communication roles in living organisms, unquote. They're information conveyors, and this is why electrical disturbances or electrical energy in the air can disturb the electrical energy in the body. It interferes with the information conveying properties of electricity in the body. Now, we said food and nutrition and supplements play an obvious role in the health of the body, but the reason food and nutrition and supplements are so important and so relevant and so significant and so functional is because of their electrical nature, because of their impact, because of their really informational impact, because electrical, informa electrical energy is information. So nutrition, nutritional supplements, vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids are not only electrifying the body, electrifying cells, they're also providing information to the cells. They're informing the cells, particularly the cells of the brain and the heart. Bioelectricity, biological electricity is the result of a difference between negative and positive charges and these charges, these electrical charges are themselves the result of the movement of what we call electrolytes. This is why electrolytes are so darn important. It's one of Dr. Wallach's most brilliant insights. He had many brilliant insights, but one of his most brilliant insights was the importance of electrolytes, the importance and relevance of electrolytes when it comes to health and the relevance of electrolyte deficiency when it comes to disease. Minerals like sodium and potassium and calcium and magnesium, they're called electrolytes because they conduct electrical energy. They, they uh, carry electrical energy into cells. And along with oxygen and the fats that surround the cells, they generate, they, uh, generate electrical charges inside the cell. The electricity inside the cell is the result of the movement of these electrolytes and their interaction with the fats that, th that surround the cell, the fatty membrane. Do you think that makes the fats that we ingest so important? You better believe it does. There isn't a single health challenge that you can name that does not involve the fatty membrane around the cells. Now you know why. It's because once this fatty membrane becomes disturbed, electrical energy in the cells also becomes disturbed. Cells cannot, uh, cannot do their business. They don't have the energy to do their business. They break down and ultimately they die. The death of cells follows disturbances in the membrane. The membrane is so, so, so important. That's why I'm always focusing on fats and fat absorption on this program and, and when I'm counseling people. And fats, as you'll probably, if you've listened to this program, as you probably know, fats are the most difficult uh, food components for the body to process. And fat deficiency, as well as malabsorption of fats, can always be found behind long-term chronic degenerative diseases, particularly cancer, as well as heart disease. And by the way, the heart itself is also supremely dependent on fats because it's so darn electrical. Not just essential fatty acids. Essential fatty acids play a vital, vital, vital role in the health of the cell membrane. But when it comes to the heart, saturated fats are also important. Thus, the utter nonsense and stupidity of the medical model that wants us to believe that saturated fats are somehow bad for the heart. Not true. The heart loves saturated fat. Tell that to the next boneheaded cardiologist who tells you to reduce your intake of saturated fat. And by saturated fat, of course, I'm talking primarily butter as well as coconut oil. So this interaction between fats and electrolytes is supremely important when it comes to health. It's supremely important, when it, and, and by the way, oxygen as well, oxygen, electrolytes, and fats. And these things are all important to the body because they facilitate the conduction of electrical energy. If you're thinking at this point that you might want to be focusing on cell membrane health by making sure you're getting enough essential fatty acids, by making sure you're getting enough ultimate EFAs, remember your ultimate EFAs are embedded, particularly omega-6 EFAs are embedded in the cell membrane, you're probably right. Your ultimate EFAs are vitally important and, and for a lot of reasons, and one of the main reasons is because they are key components of the cell membrane and thus they play a major, major role in electrification of the cell. There's also another very important type of fat that plays a very important role, plays a, a key role when it comes to cell membrane health. I'll tell you what that is when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll return right after this. 
We are back on the bright side. Good morning. I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, or if you have a comment or success story, we want to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended, Please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. If you heard Dr. Wallach on Coast to Coast yesterday and you have questions about anything he was speaking about today, we can help you there as well. I'd love to hear what you thought of Doc. I didn't get to hear him. I'll probably listen to it over the weekend. I can't stay up as that late necessarily at least not when I'm doing the program the next day. And uh, I'll get to listen to it this weekend. But if you, uh, if you have any comments about anything Doc was talking about, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Or if you have questions, of course, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. All right, so uh, electrical energy is all about electricity, folks. When we talk about nutritional supplements, the reason nutritional supplementation is so important is because nutritional supplements facilitate the smooth, smooth movement of electrical energy into cells. When we talk about food, food is only important because it gets turned into electrical energy. Drugs, su surprise, surprise, disturb electrical energy. This is why drugs are so toxic and drugs have side effects. They disturb the flow of electrical energy into the body. This is why they're poisons and have to be removed from the body quickly. It's called first pass effect and drug companies know about first pass effect and they have to up the dosage or suggest higher doses than are, uh, than are effective because of first pass effect. That is the liver clearing out uh, prescription drugs before they can get to be used. That does not happen with nutrition. This interaction, uh, this uh, electrical flow into cells is the result of an interaction between minerals, specifically electro electrolytic minerals, oxygen, and essential fats that are embedded in the membrane. Now, there's a special kind of fat that's embedded in, in the membrane. Essential fats, for sure, embedded in the membrane, omega-6s, and in the nerve cells, omega-3s. But there's a second kind of fat that's also embedded in the membrane. This very, very important fat plays a major role in electrification of the cell. This special kind of fat is so electrical that even just squeezing it will generate an electrical charge. This special kind of fat is said to be piezoelectric. That means it generates an electrical charge when pressure is applied to it. Biological pressure, pressure inside the, inside the biological system will generate an electrical charge via uh, this magnificently important fat. Interestingly, this magnificently important fat is denigrated and, and, and dismissed by the medical model, which is completely ignorant when it comes to biochemistry. That's really what we're talking about when we rip on the medical model. The medical model doesn't understand biochemistry chemistry. Your doctor is not a biochemist. Your doctor is a clinical chemist. And this is a distinction that nobody really talks about. Clinical chemistry versus biochemistry. I've often said, and I'll say it again, if you're sick, go to a biochemist, not a clinical chemist. Clinical chemistry is the chemistry of the clinic. It's the chemistry of statistics. It's the chemistry of diagnostics. It's the chemistry that is the realm of the medical model. It's especially the realm of so-called functional medicine, which is a huge scam. Sorry to say to my functional medicine, um, functional medical doctor friends, big time scam. Functional medicine is the it, it, it claims to be more accurate or more uh, advanced than regular medicine because they use more diagnostics and more test scores. Clinical chemistry is the chemistry of tests. It's the chemistry of diagnostics. Biochemistry is the chemistry of biology. We are not statistical beings. We are biological beings. And this is why biochemistry is so darn important. And if you're sick, go to a biochemist. So this magnificent fat that is so ripped on and so denigrated by the medical model is only denigrated by the medical model because they are not biochemists. The representatives of the medical model are clinical chemistry, clinical chemists. What is this magnificent fat? It's called cholesterol. And cholesterol is embedded in the cell membrane where it helps the cell, where it helps the membrane and thus the cell generate and maintain electrical charges. That's one of its main roles, it has several roles, but one of its main roles is to facilitate the movement of electrical energy into the cell. Cholesterol is an electrically active substance in the cell, on the cell. And to suppress or to uh, poison cholesterol making machinery is just unspeakably stupid with a capital S, quote me on that. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. If there's anybody who knows a doctor who wants to come on this radio program and talk to me, 
in front of my millions of listeners, not really, hundreds of thousands of listeners, maybe, thousands of listeners for sure, and discuss cholesterol, I'm happy to do it, and discuss the stupidity of the cholesterol model and the incredible boneheadedness of statin drugs and using statin drugs to improve health, I would be thrilled to be able to do that. But until we have a doctor who's willing to do that, I'll just do it on my own. I'll just tell you on my own how unbelievably idiotic the cholesterol hypothesis, suppressing cholesterol production, using statin drugs is when it comes to health. Yesterday, we talked about the use of electrical energy to restore bodily health in the case of infections. This idea was pioneered by Dr. Royal Raymond Reif in the early part of the 20th century. Over the course of decades of work, Dr. Reif, who not surprisingly was also ripped on by the medical model, although he was uh, considered to be one of the most brilliant scientists, medical scientists of the early 20th century, over the course of uh, 20, 30, 40 years, Dr. Reif discovered different frequencies that could be used to destroy bacteria, germs, so-called, and viruses, and bacterial and viral infections, including herpes, polio, meningitis, tetanus, the flu, as well as a, a wide spectrum of other disease-causing bacteria. Then, uh, after Reif discovered all of these magnificent, the, these uh, powerful frequencies that could kill bacteria and kill viruses, he turned his attention to cancer, which in the 1930s was becoming a very significant health issue. Uh, health issue. It hasn't stopped becoming a significant health issue. It's still the second leading cause of death, and with all the money we spend on the war on cancer, the trillion, uh, maybe trillions of dollars that we spend on the war of cancer, we still have a, uh, an epidemic. Reif began researching cancer in 1922. By 1932, he had actually isolated a virus. He called it the VX virus, and he said that this virus was a cancer-causing microbe, and within a year or two, he had invented what he called the universal microscope, which could magnify objects 60,000 times. In 1934, the University of Southern California appointed a special medical research committee to look into the anti-cancer effects of Reif's machinery and anti-cancer uh, uh, anti concepts that was associated with Reif's theories. They basically sent Reif terminal cancer patients to treat with his Reif machines. And what they found was that after 90 days of treatment with Reif's machinery, 86.5% of patients had been completely cured of cancer. Yes, cured with a capital C. The treatment was then tweaked a little bit, they adjusted the treatment, and then the remaining 13.5% of the patients also responded within four weeks. The total recovery rate using Rife's technology, Rife frequency machines, was 100%, and this story is fully described in a, a booklet, or a book actually, by a guy named Barry Lines called Royal Raymond Rife and the Cancer Cure That Worked. Everybody who's dealing with cancer, or anybody who is interested in the subject should read this book, Royal Raymond Rife and the Cancer Cure That Worked. Even better, if a frequency that was associated with health was applied over the frequency of a, a, a sick cell, a non-cancerous sick cell, or a sick tissue that didn't have cancer, that cell responded as well. You didn't, have to, you didn't even have to have cancer to benefit from Rife's machinery. Any sick cell could be, uh, have its health improved by simply applying a frequency. And uh, you would think that, that we, would be, we would be all over Dr. Royal Raymond Rife. Nobody's even heard of the guy. All right, I'm Pharmacist Benny. 442 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, it's the Royal Rife machine or electrical, bioelectrical medicine, statin drugs, cholesterol, or if you just have a success story you'd like to share, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. A couple interesting uh, articles here. This is from The Lancet, as published in the New York Times. The Lancet, by the way, is one of the all-time great medical journals. Uh, this was published yesterday in the New York Times. New study favors fat over carbohydrates. High carbohydrate intake is associated with a higher risk of mortality. High fat intake with a lower risk, researchers report. Surprise, surprise. Where have you heard that before? This nonsense, this Utter stupidity about low fat, low fat, low fat is just flies in the face of what is accurate and what is healthy for the body. What is accurate in terms of health and what is healthy for the body. 
Fats are a dense source of energy. If you want to be healthy, go ketogenic. The ketogenic diet is a low-carb, uh, low high-fat, low-calorie diet. It's the way human beings are supposed to eat, especially if you're dealing with diabetes, especially if you're dealing with brain health issues like Alzheimer's disease, and especially if you're dealing with heart disease. The ketogenic diet is incredibly heart-friendly. Yes, saturated fat, uh, a, sat a high-saturated fat diet is incredibly friendly to the heart. And this is why, despite the fact that we have an American Heart Association and we have all kinds of cardiologists and we spend billions of dollars on, on combating and fighting heart disease, it has become, it is the leading cause of death in this country and around the world, despite the billions of dollars that are thrown at this illness and the millions of dollars that executives at the American Heart Association make in salary every year, by the way. All right, let's see here. Let me do one more. This is kind of interesting also. Acid reflux may uh, respond better to diet than to drugs. This is from uh, JAMA Otolaryngology, Otolaryngology, or laryngology, laryngology, I think you say it, JAMA Journal of American Medical Association, Otolaryngology, Head and Neck Surgery. Researchers found that for people with acid reflux that affects the throat, a Mediterranean diet was just as effective as PPIs in treating their symptoms. That's because heartburn or GERD, if you like, or uh, GERD, acid reflux disease, is a diet disease. It's a food disease. It's not a medical problem. If you have heartburn, if you have GERD, and it can be pretty significant too, by the way. I mean, it could be serious. It's, a, it's associated with esophageal cancer, which is a deadly, deadly form of cancer. If you have long-term heart uh, acid reflux, work on your diet, work on food, use probiotics, use your nightly essence, make sure you're using apple cider vinegar with your meals, eliminate the refined carbohydrates. It's not a reason to be on a PPI. It's not a reason to be on Nexium. It's not a reason to be on Prilosec. And any medical professional who suggests that you take these kinds of drugs without first modifying your diet is a medical professional that you want to avoid. You can do dramatic things by changing the way you eat, and this is just an, a study that, I mean, it's logical, but this is just a study that proves it. By the way, people spend $13 billion a year on prescription and over-the-counter PPI types of drugs. Do you think that's maybe a reason why everybody, why, why uh, medical professionals are suggesting PPIs? Because drug companies love this stuff. The profit margin on drugs, folks, is unbelievable. It's sickening. $13 billion represents a profit margin of in the 80s to 90s percent-wise because the drugs themselves cost nothing. And then the drug companies, that, I mean, the powder that they put inside a medicine, inside a pill, is so insignificantly small. It's like 0.001% of the, of the tablet is actually the drug. The rest of it is starch or magnesium stearate or some kind of filler. The amount of drugs that you're paying for, the amount of chemical that you pay for when you pay for a drug is, is, is infinitesimal. The profit margins are ungodly. And then they'll tell you, oh, well, it's the research that we do. No, it's not. It's the marketing that they do. It's the commercials that they do. It's the premiums and the gifts that they give away. That's where the cost of your, that, that's what accounts for the cost of the drugs, not to mention the ungodly profits. All right, 844 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. Time to hit the phones. Good morning, Betty in Florida. How you doing? Good. How are you? Well, I'm, well, where are you in Florida? Tell us a little bit about what's going on down there. Oh, no, I'm in Crestview in northwest uh, Florida. No, so you're not going to – well, you still might be affected, no? Is it – what are they saying? Well, that's true. Right now it's sunny and beautiful. I know we oh, might good. be affected, but – Right now it's sunny and beautiful. Wait a little while before we bug out. Okay, well, good. How can we help you today? Um, mine has to do with blood pressure medication and the uh, plant-based minerals. Okay. Longevity plant-based minerals. Okay. On the last couple of days, I've been having the strange symptoms of a my lips are hot and your lips are hot. Okay, and that's yeah. that's just out of the blue. It just happened. Never had yeah. anything like that before. Yeah. Okay. Before well, there's lots that, of blood I in the. Had, before that, I had my face would get very hot. Okay. Sometimes I would look in the mirror and see it red. Other times. Like I would ask my daughter, and she'd say, "No, it's not red, but I would feel it." It's oh, you feel like the heat? Hot. Yeah, it's almost like going back 20 years to hot flashes. Okay, Crazy. gotcha, gotcha. That's a that's a that's a response. That's a reaction. And everything we talk, I don't know how long you've been listening to the program, but everything I talk about on this program is just logical. I don't like to talk medical. I like to talk logical. I like to talk common sense. So what is heat? Heat is, represents an opening of blood vessels, right? It's a reaction. When blood vessels open up, 
and you get an increase of, of blood supply that, that uh, generates heat. Blood is hot. Uh, and that's why your lips have a lot of blood supply there too as well. So it's telling me that something is opening up your blood vessels. Technically they call that vasodilation. Something is causing vasodilation. Now vasodilation is a common reaction to a stressor. All right, you with me so far? Yeah. Most likely that stressor is going to be something that you're eating, something that you're putting in your mouth. Now, it, now certain nutritional supplements can do it. Niacin is notorious for doing it, by the way. But more importantly, I would be looking at specific foods. Uh, do you have a history of food problems? Do you know you have I, food problems? I have, I have celiac. Well, there you go. That's where I would be focusing. I'd be looking at specific foods. Now, don't try to use your memory, but every time you experience the heat, uh, or first of all, just write down everything you eat, and then see if you can associate the foods with your symptoms. I, the, I have, the, but I don't. I have, but I don't see that. I don't keep looking. See that at all. Keep looking. Now, if you and have one celiac, time you years also. Ago, they told me when they this was a doctor that I can't even remember the name of, not the particular doctor, but the type of testing that they do. Yeah. It was very weird. But she said, "There's nothing going on." It's well, really obviously, you know better. It's your body. No, <laughs> I no, love it when they I say. Mean, no, I mean, um, like electrical. Well, it like, doesn't matter what they tell you. <laughs> Everything's and electrical. Then I missed, and I was on a. Um, treadmill machine they were checking to see if oh, what kind of machine work long a treadmill oh a treadmill machine okay and i did terrible i didn't do good well you got bigger problems than a hot face and maybe you have a hot face i don't know i can't see you but, but you got bigger problems they checked they checked to see if i needed a stent and they said my arteries forget check forget checking forget anything your doctor told you there's nothing nothing in their bag of tricks that's going to help you and mo more often than not they're wrong so here's what you need to do okay once you understand that you have a reaction you got to figure out what the action is that is causing the reaction a reaction it follows an action by definition so if you have a reaction is you got to have an action blood, that proceeds is it, is it the blood pressure medication it could very well be the blood pressure your medication. Hang on, we'll finish up when we come back from our break, okay? Don't go away, Betty. All right, I'm going to try to get to all our calls today. If you're on hold, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 10 is our number. We're talking to Betty in Florida. Are you there, ma'am? Yes, I am. Okay. So, yes, indeed, uh, drugs can cause flushing. It's a very common side effect of prescription drugs. Uh, it really, it, flushing is a, a sign that the body's reacting to something, as, a, as, I was, as I was telling you before our break. And the body can react to anything. Usually, it's going to be sugar, food, something in food, or a prescription drug can easily do it. The, the point I'm making is it's a reaction. You've got to figure out the action. I can't tell you what the action is, uh, although your point is very well taken. It could easily be a prescription drug. Um, I, nutrition... I, took the, I took that drug for six months, and this seemed to happen, I can't say specifically at the same time I started the plant-based minerals, but somewhere around that it, time. It's unlikely. It's unlikely, let me just, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but it's unlikely that it's the plant-based minerals, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to stop using them, see what happens, and then start using them again. Although I would say it's unlikely. I would say it's much more likely that it's the drugs or something you're eating for that matter, especially if you have a history of celiac. Don't be thrown off by the idea that you were fine for six months and then you took the plant minerals and then all of a sudden you weren't fine, because what can happen is, is your ability to detoxify the prescription medicine can become diminished over the course of time, and you may have reached a point where you're no longer detoxifying it as well. Now, I'm not saying that's definitely the case. You're going to have to experiment a little bit, but it could easily be the case. So what I would do if I were you is I would be taking uh, 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 really specific notes on everything you're putting into your body, because it's something you're putting into your body more than likely. Put a, a, a very detailed notes, drugs, foods, drinks, etc., uh, supplements, anything you're putting into your body, and then see if you can form an association between what you're putting into your body and, and the flushing. I'd be going with the medication first, although uh, it, could, it could be anything, and it could definitely be the plant-derived minerals, but it's unlikely. Let me, it's, let me throw another thing in there. Um, sure. I have, I have lost a couple teeth in my mouth because of they were root canals and the fillings came off because I've had them for a long time. Mm -hmm. Now, I've been tested by with hair mineral analysis. They said I didn't have any mercury. 
But you can't go by any of that stuff. Don't, you know, I know we were always looking for tests and for somebody to tell us you can't go by anything that's a test. So you, the only way is to take things out of the, uh, put things in and take things out of the system and see how your body responds. It's something your body's doing. Now it could be, it could easily be mercury. It could be anything. There's no way to know until you do the experiments. But what I can tell you for sure, it's something that's getting into your system because flushing is a reaction. That means there's an action that you're doing. And more than likely, it's some kind of action that involves something getting into your body. That means food. That means drugs. That means supplements. Any of those things. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. I got I to gotta move on. If you want to do one last thing, if you want to try one last thing, I talked about yeah. this yesterday, chelating, magnetically attracting toxicity out of the body using bentonite clay, vitamin C, um, something called zeolite or activated charcoal. I have, I have some kind of French clay here that... That might work if it's edible. If it's food grade, yeah. uh, put a teaspoon yeah. in water, see if that helps. Thank you so much for your call, Betty. I hope we helped you out. And good luck with, uh, with Hurricane Irma. I hope uh, that doesn't affect you too much. Take care. Okay, let's go to Robert in Ohio. Good morning. Thanks for calling. What's going on, Robert? Hi, Pharmacist Ben. Great to talk to you. Great to talk hey, to you. Um, first of all, I've been following doc, uh, Dr. Wallach's protocol for the last three years, and I have not been sick in three nice. years since nice. I've been using Nice. Good job. So, uh, uh, I've been using the uh, diatomaceous earth. I just want to update Beautiful. you on it. Okay. And uh, it just, I think it's better than bentonite clay because it's sharper, and it kind of scrapes the intestines from my red uh, in some of the stuff. And I don't know, if I'll let you... Uh, it's very so similar. Diatom diatoms are little tiny organisms that um, that live in, in the ocean, live on the ground, live on the earth. And when they die, their their shells uh, remain. When their when the organic material dies, uh, the shells remain. And the shells, as you say, are sharp and kind of uh, pointed. I use diatomaceous earth in my skincare products because it makes a great abrasive for the surface of the skin. But yeah, it's it's awesome orally, and it's very cheap. It's basically dirt food. You want to make sure, of course, it's food grade diatomaceous earth. Um, but you can use right, diatomaceous yeah. earth for lots of things. They use them to kill bugs, uh, kill bed, uh, kill bed bugs. I've heard uh, they use it as a yeah. um, for plants, for for various um, pests and, and such. They use it for fleas. It's got just wonderful, wonderful stuff. And I'm a big believer in food grade diatomaceous earth. So if you're noticing benefits, I'm not surprised. Um, I wouldn't say it's better than bentonite clay because the bentonite clay will get you more minerals, but it's certainly good stuff. I, I'm a believer. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I've noticed I, you know, kind of just cleaned me out first, and it wasn't a, a bad thing either. You know, it was just kind of, just kind of pushed everything on out, and I feel feel like a spring chicken, really. I mean, I really. That's do. awesome. I'm slightly younger than you. How much? How uh, do you know how old I am? You heard me say, you, probably. You've mentioned you've mentioned it. I've, I've right. been listening to you for a long time. Okay, Matter of fact, good. we share the same. Um, you mentioned on Coast to Coast, you uh, used to read like Muscle Builder magazines as a yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, youngster, and, and we're kind of the same way. I mean, I was okay. the same way. We, are you, yeah, are, are you lifting weights now? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. Joe. Really? I've kind of switched. I used to be powerlifting. I was ranked like fifth in the country back in 1986. Oh, no kidding. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 19, what did you say, 86? Like, back in the 80s? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's when I was doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was the days of uh, uh, Lou Ferrigno and and Arnold and all that. Yeah. Those Did are you bodybuilders? Yeah, but. Yeah. Oh, those are bodybuilders. You were more of a power lifter. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Cool. What do you do now? Yeah. Pacific. What kind of What do you do now? What kind of work do you do now? Well, I'm a tool maker right now. I okay. Do work cool. Machining and stuff like that. So, but um, anyways, back back. To, I want to I want to switch gears to my mother. She's about just under 80 years old and she's having a little trouble i got her off of statin drugs and it was just okay. making her memory just go go to heck and okay uh, Is she, did uh, you notice the difference when she got off the drugs definitely but then the doctor got her back on and it's like you know the doctor you can't you know the doctor knows more than yeah than, yeah i know uh, I, I don't understand the logic you know i mean i can see how doctors are convinced because they're hoodwinked and they're hypnotized and they're entranced by drug companies and by the medical model that's their life but how people can think they're better off by taking a poison substance how they can possibly think that they can be healthier by putting poison into the system it just it, i can't understand that it just blows me away how people can think that but you know what we all get to make our own decisions and I, I never help anybody that doesn't want to be helped we all get to make good decisions bad decisions and, and if it's your mother it's a little bit harder obviously but you, we got to mind our own business if people want to go that way go the medical route well, you know we love them anyway of now she is off of them now she's She's off of it now, and I've got her on a like a vitamin protocol. But there's too many vitamins. I think I want to go with the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Just do the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. 
Exactly. Yeah, Have them okay. sip the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Nope. You know, for older folks who don't want to do a bunch of pills, you know, uh, sometimes if you're going to do it right, you got to take 50, 60, 70 pills a day. If you don't want to do that, you don't yeah. want to go all out, just do the BTT. I'm telling you, you will notice amazing results, particularly if you've never supplemented before, and especially if you're sick or you're old. If you're looking for a Christmas, okay. a Christmas gift to give somebody who's elderly, and by elderly, I mean like 70s or 80s, or somebody in a nursing home, there is no better gift than the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It is amazing. Amazingly, amazingly functional and helpful. Hey, listen, I want to get to a couple more calls, Robert. Thank you so much for calling. Okay. I appreciate it, and right. thanks for sharing. Hope we helped you out. I'm going to see if I can get to uh, all our calls here. Uh, Carol, real quick, what's going on, ma'am? How can we help you? Is this me? Ka- yes, Carol in Washington. Me? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, I didn't hear that. You fizzed out right when you said, okay. I said to the uh, to your guy, uh, sciatica, but I also, also, I have sciatica, and I have a friend that uh, is in her 70s, and her guts are falling out between her legs. Mm. Uh, is there her anything guts? to be done about that? But yeah, that's called a connective tissue deterioration. She, her body's breaking down. I assume you mean it's a prolapse. Uh, and that's just what happens as we get older. It's the price we pay for not living a good life. And by good life, I'm talking about nutritionally and through our diet. Uh, you're going to have to start building. She's going to have to start building the connective tissue up, glucosamine, get on the glucogel caps, bone soup as much as she can. Make sure she's doing vitamin C all day long, especially in the form of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. The combination of glucosamine and the glucogel caps, gelatin and bone soup and vitamin C is the the best way to build connective tissue. Exercise will also help build connective tissue. Your ultimate EFAs are also connective tissue building. There's a zillion other things to do, but that's a good place for you to start. Um, if she has any digestive problems, she's got to work on those because it's not just what you take, it's also what you absorb. And I'm going to get one more call in. I hope we helped you out. I'm sorry to speed through here, but uh, Elliot's been holding on forever here. Good morning, Elliot. we got about a minute. What's going on, buddy? Uh, good morning. Well, <laughs> I picked the right day, Ben. I was okay. calling about uh, the, when you mentioned about butter, well, yeah. I had a wellness letter because I, I get Berkeley, Cleveland, Tufts, Harvard, and they, one of them had said, uh, "Oh, that butter wasn't good for you." Well, you who just said butter wasn't this good? This morning, who said you know, that? One of the one of the big outfits. Okay. Okay. You know they're doctors. <laughs> All right. All right. Butter yeah. is amazingly okay. helpful. Amazingly healthy food. Unbelievably healthy for so many reasons. It's hard to even begin. Yeah. To... Especially for the digestive system, by the way. Well, yeah, and then you went into the next subject that I wanted to speak on was Nexium. My other half is on Nexium, has been on, and I tried to get her off with the Bragg cider. She was taking... Hey, uh, Elliot, I want to talk to you. you got some good stuff to talk about, but I'm just out of time, buddy. I only got 30 okay. seconds here. Can you? Can I get you to call back on our next program? I'd love to talk to you. It sounds like you got some good stuff to say. And I, yeah, I, I hate two you. more items, yeah. yeah. I hope you can call. I hope you can call on our next episode. Thank you, Elliot. I appreciate it, and I, I hate cutting people off. I'm sorry. But that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening, friends. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful full spectacular day on Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.